Welcome back to another Voice Meter series. I'm here, Ken Yushua, as your mentor. I want to show you guys what the remote API is of Voice Meter and some of the overall and high level basics of it. So, we're not going too deep in high level, but we're going over the cases of how to use it and what it is and how is establishing a lot of the applications we went over in the previous video. So, definitely check out those and um, basically how we will go into it later. So, stay tuned for that. So I'm your mentor for this, and I'll be going over some uh, key points of what we are. We are primarily a uh, more of a software and more of a type of hardware type of ideal for the CYBE, CyberConnect. And I'm usually the person doing the videos while I'm planning and adjusting different things, do a lot of stuff in the background. So if you guys are interested, definitely check out the uh, Gamers Guild Discord, and it will be a link down in the description. We'll eventually have a official type of uh, CYB Discord where we'll be able to go over different concepts and software. So stay tuned to like all bunch of other things coming through and definitely uh, keep notifications on at all times. So primarily the YouTube notifications will eventually have an email list and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's definitely get into what the remote API is. So at this point, this is our 10th video of the series. So I'll have a link to what I was referring to in some of the videos. Uh, primarily the remote API is something you're using across your whole entire uh, voice meter. So it's intact with some of the things we went over, macro buttons and some of the um, eight by eight matrices in the 15 bands, and also the uh, MIDI uh, and the V-band features. So that's a lot of capabilities of what we we're using. Also the eight by eight game matrix is what we went over. It was some of our previous videos. So definitely check out that if you're interested. And the 15 bands is primarily for EQing in the uh, MIDI uh, was primarily something we didn't separately go over, but we touched upon it in our first video. And then we went over uh, the, the macro buttons uh, in the past. And then um, I'll go over some of the cases we went over in that video for the macro button, um, where you're able to interact with the API and have a preset of things being clicked on. You can mess with the system settings, like the uh, the patch parameter, and, um, and the dot after is all the properties of each and every uh, parameter. And then the recorder, uh, did I skip something? No. So then the recorder, you can uh, stop, play, do whatever you want inside your macro buttons. And if you want more clarification in the macro buttons, there's a video for that inside of this series. And then you can also interact with the V-band options as well, and then so on and so forth. So uh, the definition, how they would explain it is primarily for developers only, but if you're going into development or interested in it in general, I'll be going over it. And um, the high level case of it is where we're able to request a plethora of um, ideas and functions and methods inside of a um, .dll uh, file. So that's called the uh, voice, uh, voice meter remote uh, .dll file. And then um, it's pretty much API where it's using the third party um, capabilities that are inside of your application. And uh, it has a lot of advantages that are added to it. So here's like the diagram right here. I'll zoom in a little bit. And uh, it acts as an interface. And it has like your login, your logout, your get uh, voice mirror, so on and so forth right here. And um, it's interacting with your application here, your voice mirror dot uh, uh, exe. So uh, some other cases as well, where um, since voice meter 1.0, uh, 0.5.0, and then 2.0.3.0, voice mirror a remote API provides an audio API to uh, process audio inside of voice meter in three different points. So down the SDK, and the SDK is a software development kit and uh, get the information on the forum. So then this will be linked as well. It was linked on one of the other videos as well. And then um, this is basically how like it's formatted. So the audio callback in uh, it's uh, two by two X or 22 X and uh, it's inputs channel in and then uh, 22 X outputs channel out and then the inputs and outputs are the same. So the channel in and the channel out and then the um, audio callback main, it has a 22 X so 40 X and a 40 X for input inputs and outputs and the channel in channel out and channel out. So it's really, uh, it's not too complex, but it's really uh, well organized and understandable. So um, the part I was mentioning um, about the uh, .dll is where we're gonna interact with it. So it's not too difficult to interact with a finished product of um, software, because the .dll is pretty much um, the 
uh, capabilities of what is adding to. So it's adding to a um, dot um, exe is adding to um, a Java program is adding to different things where we'll be able to um, configure and edit that type of file. So we'll go into that in a future video. Uh, it may not come soon, but you'll you'll be able to see it in this series. So definitely stay tuned. That's probably it. I just wanted to go like high level into it. Uh, there's really nothing much else to uh, dabble in. We already dabbled in into the macro buttons in the eight by eight um game matrix that was what we were using we were using that uh, remote api and uh, we we're using a lot of the um apis inside of it so so not too complex not too crazy but uh, we'll be able to interact with it later in the series uh, but yeah that's that's really it um if you think i miss anything or uh didn't go into a certain topic definitely let me know um i just want to cover the high level an ideal of it and then i'll have the this documentation in the description as well um if you guys haven't already make sure you guys definitely follow subscribe and share uh share it across all of youtube facebook all that stuff because we are growing we're almost to a thousand by this recording and we're planning on growing and growing uh by by now and beyond so definitely stay tuned to more we'll be going over a few more videos before we start taking in a request i just want to put in a set of videos that I've already laid out and um, to then just go into the um, supporter requested videos. So, um, but yeah, use this video to now go over dot DLL. This is like another preset to new videos. It'll get more technical from here because we'll be interacting with uh, everything of what um, VoiceMirror has. So the remote API, uh, stay tuned to that. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next uh, videos. So take care and peace out.